What is happening, YouTube? Zary here from Zary's Mobile Gaming back at you today to bring you my Ember Legendary event. So, before we jump into that, just a couple things to remind you of. Still got the contest going on where you can receive a $20 Google Play or iTunes gift card just by being a sub and leaving the comment in any of the videos, starting with the announcement of the giveaway. So, we got that going on. We're going to jump right in and see how we're doing here so we're about to jump into embers flame challenge one i'm going to cut out the story for everybody so we can see the gameplay i'm going to go over some strategy of what i'm going to try to do obviously not for the first couple because that should be super easy but here we go okay nothing real challenging about the first one pretty much click them and they die so moving on to the second all right we got six out of six we got some goblins so I'm going to start by picking off probably Hard Orc, Mar, and then Shot. Shouldn't be that difficult. Yep, not very difficult at all. On to the next. Okay, starting out the battle here, we have seven enemies, Bluff and Puncher Face. So I'm going to get rid of Puncher Face first and then go to Bluff. Number three was not terrible, very easy still. Elves, my elves are holding up good, so let's move to the fourth. Okay, fourth battle is up. We have a pride fight in the beginning. It is two Boris and a Reval. So probably going to go with Reval first and see what happens. Alright, four down really wasn't challenging. What I did with the second wave is I got Salvador out of there first so he couldn't get up his hard shell move because then he becomes nearly unkillable. Then I moved over to the healer and her name escapes me at the moment. Rhaenyra, sorry about that. And then I just took him down one by one. Very easy fight. Let's move on to number five. Okay, so here we are at battle five. We have 11 characters to go through. And we are starting out with a Mortha, a Corcoram, and then two of the Occults, the Mage, and then the Warrior, the Zolites. So, let's see how I do, and I'll explain what I did if I beat it.
All right. It really wasn't that bad of a fight at all. With the double heals, it actually helps out quite a bit. So I was able just to keep people topped up to kind of move on. The, the fight itself wasn't that hard. I looked to take out, on that second wave, I took out uh, Tromgar so he couldn't get his taunt up. Or when he did finally get his taunt up, he was already relatively low health. And then on that, that final wave, I took out Mar first because I was worried about his mass AoE ability. And then it just kind of fell down into place from there. So um, I kept up the critical chance buff from Sharp. Kept the heals up. Um, mostly used Sanjeel just to possibly top up and keep the regenerations on. Uh, overall, pretty easy fight. Much, much easier than Soleus. Okay, so here we are. We got Ember. This is awesome, guys. The hard work into the elves paid off. The synergy between the elves is actually, in my opinion, very underrated in this game. The overall event itself, it gave you plenty of time to prepare. Thumbs up. The story was okay. Um, you kind of learned some new character names in there, so wondering if they're going to come into the game or not. But overall, the level I had my elves at, for the levels I had my elves at, and if you haven't seen, there's going to be a card now, Shameless Plug Time. Click that, check it out, because I didn't touch my elves coming into this event. And that's exactly how I ran it. So we have Ember at 5 stars. Awesome. So let me take a quick break in the video. I'm going to get her up to 15 just so we can look at her moveset and possibly talk about some runes and some synergies, and I will be right back. Okay, before we get into her moves and her abilities, there is a offer for $21.99 US for four hours. You get two million gold, you get some scrolls, you get everything to take her up to level eight. I'm not going to buy that because I my pandas aren't where they need to be to benefit from Ember the most. So I can slowly work on her and build her up over time. It is not a bad offer at all with the 300 bonus energy and all those purple mats. Not a bad offer if you want to spend on it. Okay, so here is Ember. Took her up to gear level 3 to level 15 so we can do some runes. So, let's take a look at her moveset. I'm going to read all abilities at level 6 so we can kind of see what we're dealing with more towards the end of the game. So, first ability here is Fireball. Basic ability deals 250 percent of magic damage to an enemy a burn target will receive 300 percent of magic damage so we what we learn from here is magic damage is important and also a burned enemy is important so let's see if she can inflict burning because then potency could be important ability two is meteor at level six it deals 400 percent of magic damage to an enemy and stuns a target for one turn at level five it is only a 75 percent chance to stun a target so we learned, again, magic damage, and now we have the confirmation potency is going to be big for Ember. Ability 3, Spirit of Zunayo. I think that's how you say it, Zunayo. Somebody correct me on that one. It deals 250% of magic damage to all enemies, 70% chance to inflict burning for two turns, and a 30% chance to remove all buffs from the enemy. So potency is definitely going to be big for her. We want to make sure she gets through that first roll and then that potency tenacity check as well. Then her passive ability, her final ability, number four, Viafying Flame. For each burning stack on an enemy, Ember recovers 6% health at the start of her turn. So, health is important for this character because we have damage, we have potency, and health. She's recovering 6% of her max health at level 6 of this ability. Now, reading her kit, what we are possibly looking at here is we are going to need people who can burn. So, that would be her best synergies. She really doesn't have synergies with pandas built into her kit. So we need like a cork room, a Sinjeel. We have anybody who could inflict a burning um, and a Mara would be a good example. That way she's healing herself over time with those stacks of burning because she only has one move which inflicts burning. So now we're looking at her rune amulet here. And what we need to do is keep in mind that health potency 
and damage our options for her. So I'm going to take a quick break in the video. I'm going to ruin her. Then I'll be back and show you what I did. Okay, we are back. So what I did is I went with a damage set with a health set. So what that does for our rune words is that it gives us plus 20% damage and plus 10% health. We know she heals herself based off of her max health, and we know that damage is vital to all of her moves. So what I did for secondary abilities is I went for, obviously, speed if I had it, but it wasn't a pri that much of a priority for me. Potency with some critical chance, and then survivability. So going over her runes, damage with tenacity, armor, damage, and health. Here, I went with a damage over a speed because I really want to maximize her damage output, and I'll see how she plays. And if she needs speed, I can swap that one out. But that one also has armor, shield, health, and tenacity. In the southeastern rune, you can only have armor, remember, so I have potency, speed, damage, and shield. In the southern rune, I have a critical chance with health, tenacity, potency, and shield. Then in the southwestern rune, I have a health primary, because you can only have shield or health, so I went with health because it's built into her kit, with health, armor, damage, and more critical chance. And then in the northwestern rune, I went potency, damage, shield, critical chance, and some tenacity. I'm okay with her rune set right now. Um, obviously, I want them to get them to uncommon and possibly put in that speed mod, but I believe I did the right things for her. We brought up her physical and magic damage. We brought her power up. Her critical chance is at 19% right now. Health is up by 865. Her speed got increased by 1. Woohoo! And her potency is at about 20%. So right now, because she's only at gear level 3, that'll go up as you put on more gear. I'm happy where she is right now. All right, everybody. There was Ember. We got her unlocked. We looked at her kit. We talked about some synergies. We... Can't go on to 6 yet. I am still farming my elves on a daily basis until the end of this event. And if I do go for 6, I will make a short video on stage 6. So it does recommend level 70, gear 9, and abilities at 6. But we'll give it a shot if I can get everybody up to 6. So just want to thank all the subscribers out there and everybody watching my videos. Appreciate all the love. Loving everybody out there. I am getting a lot of questions and and conversations over discord a lot of people are writing comments i love that interaction so keep it up if you haven't subscribed remember to subscribe and i will talk to you soon be safe i'm out